Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to just go over a ton of products that I'm currently loving. So these are products I can't stop reaching for that have become staples and favorites. Stuff that I'm using every day, whether I'm filming or I'm just doing like a quick everyday makeup look. I have some products that I've been using when I hadn't been posting videos just to get me through <laughs> the chaos and make me feel put together. So I wanna share those as well. So if you're new here, I hope you stick around subscribe. If you enjoy favorites videos, give this video a thumbs up. I will link everything that I share today down below in my description box, as well as all of the makeup that I'm wearing right now. But let's go ahead and get into what I've been loving recently. So I wanna start out with a hair tool that I've been using for about a month and I've fallen in love with it. I think you guys are going to love this product. I wanted to say thank you to Zuvi for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And you guys know I have bleached hair. I would say it's pretty apparent, but if you didn't know, I do bleach my hair pretty routinely. And with that, damage follows. So I really need to be conscious of what heat I'm putting on my hair, how often I'm putting heat on my hair, and just overall taking better care of my hair. So this is where the Zuvi Halo hair dryer comes in. And I am in love with this hair dryer. There's a few reasons why I think this stands out from the rest. The cool thing about this is the fact that it uses light to dry your hair rather than heat. This uses light care technology to dry only the water droplets on the surface of your hair, which protects your hair's internal moisture, giving you healthier hair. I went ahead and put some close-ups on the screen to show you the light care technology in action. You can see that this side of the dryer lights up. It's pretty cool. And then there are four different settings. So you can use the care setting, fast, soft, or style. Now I start out with the fast and I usually just dry majority of my hair with the fast and then I move to the style. That one really gives you more of a sleek look, kind of tames your frizz down. It's really good if you're curling or if you want that sleek straight look. This can dry my hair on the fast setting in a good seven to eight minutes. I have fine hair, but a lot of it. So it's really, really fast. And what I've noticed about this, along with just being better for your hair, is that it doesn't get so hot that you're sweating and you feel like you have to shower again. I feel like that's something with me, and I will say, I'm a sweater. I sweat a lot, especially like around my forehead. And there's nothing worse when you're getting ready and you have to dry your hair and you feel like your dripping sweat when you have your makeup on or before you do your makeup. Truly, it is my nightmare. And I've noticed that this is so much more comfortable to use. I'm not getting hot, my room's not overheating, and it really is just healthier for my hair. I just find it to be a more comfortable experience overall, along with making my hair just feel really, really soft and smooth. So if you're like me and always looking for products that are going to help keep your hair shiny, healthy, and reduce your breakage and damage, I think you would love the Zuvi Halo. A lot of people have fallen in love with this product. It has won multiple beauty awards, including the Allure's Best in Beauty, and I know you guys would love this. I have fallen in love with it. I'm so glad that they reached out to me and let me try it. Like I said, I've been using it for about a month, and I've used it every single time that I've dried my hair. So there is a sale going on right now on the Zuvi Life website. You can get 12% off the Zuvi Halo hair dryer with the code BABSBEAUTY12 on the screen. They also are offering a Labor Day promotion. So if that's still going on when my video goes live, you can also use the code BABSBEAUTY5 to get an additional 5% off. So I will link this down below. I know you guys are gonna love this. I have been thrilled with this hair dryer. So definitely take advantage of that discount. I will link it down below. And let's go ahead and get into what else I've been loving lately. I wanna shout out two concealers that I have been loving recently for different reasons. So let's start off with the new one. Wow, I tried this as a first impression. This Tower 28 concealer is it, okay? I tried this and honestly, I was talking about my renovation woes, so I was a little distracted, but I said that this looked nice on the under eyes and that I liked it. I have since fallen in love with this concealer. This is so beautiful if you want a medium coverage, thin texture, 
hydrating, smoothing, but not crazy glowy or thick. It is just so flattering on the under eye while still giving you coverage feels super comfortable. It has a very thin texture, but it has this beautiful hydration or glow without being thick and goopy. So when I say that, I'm talking about like the Say Under Eye Concealer that almost just had a really thick emollient feel. This is not that at all. It's just absolutely stunning on the under eye and it's really smooth. It's so hydrating, but once you set it with powder, it really is just so smooth on the fine lines on your under eye. I am so impressed with this concealer. I wanna get one shade for when I don't have a self tan because wow, this has really wowed me. And Tower 28 prices at Sephora are really one of the more affordable brands. So if you've been eyeing this, I highly recommend hitting the checkout. You will love this. The other concealer that I've been reaching for a ton is not new, but it's the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. So this is in the color Cotton Candy. Now I use this so much when I was going through the renovation uh, nightmare, if you will. I was using another complexion product, which I'll talk about next, but on the days that I wanted more coverage, I actually was using this all over as a foundation. This has a ton of coverage, but to me, it doesn't feel drying or overly matte. So I would just put this like all over my face and then blend it out and it gave me this even coverage. It wore beautifully throughout the day. I mean, I have gone ham on this. Like I feel like this is almost out. And a lot of time when I'm not filming, I don't have myself tan on. So I do opt for really light shades, but this just gave me beautiful coverage. It didn't make my skin look dry, but it also lasted. It wasn't like breaking apart. It's just one of those easy peasy throw it on, dust some powder on, and you're good to go. So I wanted to give it a mention because it truly has been a favorite as of lately. Now, along with the Huda Concealer, I purchased this product. This is so good if you're looking for a tinted SPF. So this is the Color Science Flex SPF 50. Now, I have it in the shade Fair. This is truly unique because it's one of those tinted SPFs that actually has coverage and also lasts. So a lot of products like this just really sheer out to basically nothing and it's just like why even put the tint in there or they're so thick and greasy that they just slip right off. I use this and use this and use this. I mean, she's looking a little rough because I use this literally every day because listen, when the contractors say they're gonna be there at 7 a.m. and you're tired from dealing with them, you just need something to make you look alive and this was that for me. So it comes out white and then as you rub it in, it adjusts to your skin tone. Again, keep in mind that this is the fair shade. And then you get this nice, I would say like light medium coverage and it doesn't feel thick or heavy. It didn't break me out. It just wore beautifully. I would just apply this all over a couple dots of the Huda concealer on my under eye and then just take a really big kabuki brush set with powder and I was good all day. I'm telling you, this is a staple, especially for the summertime. Throw this on, a little powder, a little concealer, a little lip balm, and you're good to go. This is a game changer. This next product is something that I used with those other two products I just mentioned to really keep my makeup on all day because when I wasn't filming, you guys, it was so humid. I don't know if it's like that where you guys are, but we had a good like month span where the humidity was literally 100%. Like I was sweating beyond, we, we can't even talk about how much I was sweating. So I was looking for anything to keep my makeup on and this is a dark horse product because when I originally tried it, I thought, yeah, this is nice, but as I used it and really put it to the test with the long, humid days of moving furniture and sweating all day, this Cali Ray setting spray is a hidden gem. So this is the Surf Proof Setting Spray. It is hydrating and long wear. Typically when a setting spray claims to be hydrating and long wear, those two don't go together. It's typically matte and long wear or hydrating and you know breaks your makeup up. I don't know what 
is in this, but this is so light. It doesn't give you that dry, tight feel. It doesn't lock your makeup in, in the sense of like you used hairspray. Think like the one size setting spray. This feels more like a soft MAC Fix Plus but for whatever reason, it locks your makeup in. I sweat a ton, like I was just saying, on my forehead area, it's the first to go. So if I'm out and you know I'm sweating with makeup on, I mean, literally, I will just lose all of my foundation around my hairline. It's a good look, you know? And this would literally keep it on and the sweat beads would just roll down, but not disrupt my makeup. And like I said, I wasn't wearing a double wear. I was using the Color Science, the Huda Beauty, and some powder. This truly locks your makeup in without making you feel like you have that hairspray, that film on your face. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I don't know if you can hear, but I mean, I'm getting down there. This is definitely going into my cart for the next Sephora sale. So if you have dry skin, but you still want something that's going to lock your makeup in, this is it. Speaking of dry skin, I was randomly trolling Target as I always do. Every time I'm feeling a little down or stressed, a trip to Target will always make me feel better. I know it's not healthy, but you know, retail therapy, if you know what I mean. And I saw this packaging and I was so intrigued that I picked up one product and then I loved it so much that I went back and got the other products. So this is the Slug Cream Barrier Repair Moisturizer. This is from the brand, what is the brand even called? I truly don't know. Is it called Slug Cream? Um, oh, Future Wise. Hello, it's right on the front, but it's in this funky font. So this intrigued me because I love the La Roche Posay Cicaplast, and I thought this would be similar, and it gives me a similar effect, but it's a different consistency. This does not have fragrance in it, which I love. This gives you intense hydration, but it's not thick, so it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It doesn't cause breakouts. As I sit here with a breakout, that's diet related. You know, I was snacking on some candy the other day, and for whatever reason, like Mike and Ike's or Skittles, anything like that causes acne. And I know it, but I still enjoy the snacks. You know, can you relate? Probably. So this is what it looks like on the skin. It just gives you a gorgeous glow. So of course you could use this under foundation, which I have many times. It's a little hydrating for me in the T-zone to wear under foundation. So I typically use this like before bed or I will use this on a day I'm not wearing makeup and I feel like my skin is a little dry and chapped. I just love the vibe of this. The price point is great. It's not chock full of fragrance. I just think this is such a cool brand. And then I recently picked up the mist. How cute is this packaging? So this is the Slug Boost Hydrating Mist. So originally I bought this and I was thinking, all right, is this gonna be like the Tatcha dewy skin mist where it's almost like milky? But I didn't find that with this. You can see that it's not milky. It truly is just like a hydrating mist. I thought this was gonna be something that I could only use with no makeup, just because again, I was thinking it was gonna be really creamy and heavy. I mean, it is called slug, and usually like slugging is very, very intensely hydrating. But this is something that you can use over your makeup, you can use it before makeup, you can use it without makeup. It's not so heavy that only super dry skin types can use it. If you want to glow or you just want hydration, you feel like your skin is just dry and chapped, I am telling you, look into this brand. They have another product that I purchased as well. I can't remember if I've used that yet though, but these two products I've been using for a few weeks now and I think this is so great. Definitely check it out, I will link it down below. I have one perfume that I have to rave about because I can't stop using this. This is so delicious. If you like a gourmand scent, you will love this. So this is from Sniff, and this is called Crumb Couture, which I think that name is literally genius. This is heaven, but it's not too gourmand in the sense that it feels like you're just spraying yourself with literal pastries. I'd have to put the notes on the screen, but oh my goodness, this is like caramel, blueberry syrupy goodness like a bakery a blueberry croissant something like that but it has a 
vanilla caramel backing. I love the packaging on this and the price point isn't bad on this as well. I cannot tell you how many days I've worn this in a row. It is just so yummy on the skin. It's one of those like skin scents where it kind of just melts into your skin and it's so like musky and sweet and syrupy. I have just been so impressed with this and I actually didn't like some of the other scents that I purchased from Sniff. This is the first one that's been a home run for me. So if you can get your hands on this and you like those really sweet gourmand bakery type scents, you will love this. I think the name is absolutely hilarious and honestly the marketing and everything is just perfect on this. Okay, so now let's get into some makeup products. I am so shocked that I love this, but I recently picked up the Drunk Elephant B Goldie Bright Drops. These are so gorgeous. If you like the NARS Radiance Primer that I've raved about many times, you will love this. If you want a really beautiful glow that you can put under your foundation as primer or you can mix it in or even on top if you're somebody that doesn't wear a lot of powder, this is truly stunning. The reflect that this gives, it's so glowy but fine in the sense that it almost is like, is your skin wet or is it highlighted? Do you know what I mean? It doesn't look like that really Tin Man look. It hits the light and you just look absolutely glowing to the gods. I think this is stunning and typically I don't get into the hype on some of these, you know, like really pricey glow drops and things like that, but this, there's something about the formula. I just love the gel feel of it. I think because I do have combo oily skin, a lot of those really glowy products are just too heavy for me. They just really make my pores look large, they break up my makeup, and this doesn't do that. I think this is truly, truly, truly beautiful. It's very pricey but it has been top drawer ever since I tried it. I think I tried it about a week ago and I've been using it pretty much every day. Quickly have to mention this lip balm formula that has become top, top, top tier for me. I'm sure you guys are probably like, girl, you're late to that, but these are so beautiful. This is the Naturium Fido Glow Lip Balms. I have been using these and using these and using these. I love this formula so much. They smell incredible, they're super high shine, and they actually have a little bit of color to them. You guys know that I love a little bit of tint. Look how gorgeous this color is. So this one is called Hibiscus, which is a beautiful pink. I have a red downstairs that's in like my junk drawer that I keep down there. The next one I have is called Petal. This one's just a little bit more of like that neutral shade. But you see how they actually have pigment? I feel like a lot of the bombs recently are just sheer and I'm like, what's the point of having like seven shades? These are so yummy on the lips. They're so high shine. They definitely are thicker, so they're not gonna be slipping and sliding all over. I wouldn't say that they're sticky per se, but they're definitely a thicker formula, not like a lip oil. And I just think the applicator, everything about these, like you could just throw these anywhere and you don't have to worry about it because it's just like a little plastic tube. You throw it in your purse, you're out the door, keep it in the console of your car. These are just absolutely beautiful. I cannot rave about these enough. These two shades and the red one, I mean, they're all looking like this because I pretty much use them religiously. I have a couple new products that I have tried recently and I cannot stop using ever since I tried them. Instant favorites, and you guys already know that I was gonna mention this palette from Natasha Denona. I'm wearing it right now, so this is my third time wearing this. Truly an everyday, soft glam palette that leans cool. So you have a couple shades in here that are a little bit more warm neutral, which is the one that I use today, but majority of this palette truly is like a soft, cool tone palette, not like the harsh silvers and blacks, but more of like these beautiful, just like smoky shades. Tons of texture in here. So you have kind of the wet look, which is so pretty. But then you also have this really intense, like chunky, high shine glitter look. And then of course you have standard metallics as well. Truly a gorgeous palette. 
I just love this because you don't have to be intimidated by it. All of the mats in here are just super approachable and easy to use, but you still can deepen it up with this shade. Like I used this shade the other day just as my winged liner and it was deep enough for that. It truly is like a soft glam palette. I just can't say enough good things about this palette. I know that it's sold out or it was sold out at Sephora the last time I tried to link it, but I do have a 15% off discount code for Natasha Denona. That's a new thing. So thank you to everybody that used my code so far, but if you do wanna pick this up or anything from her website, you can use the code BABSBEAUTY and that will get you 15% off site-wide. So definitely recommend this. I've just been in love with this palette it's like I think one of the best palettes of the year another brand new product that I am just so in love with and I can't stop using is this bronzer duo from give beauty so I have the color toast in now one thing I will say about this is this runs very warm so if you do not like a warm bronzer do not purchase this more so the powder side but there is a cream in here as well the cream blends like a freaking dream. It is so easy to use. So I'm gonna swatch this for you. So you have the cream bronzer in here. Again, this is a warmer bronzer, but it's not crazy over the top orange, but the bronzer that's in the powder form definitely leans more like MAC Give Me Sun, very, very, very warm. So I just have to be mindful about not going overboard. I think the other day I used this with the Natasha palette when I did a really, really cool toned look and it was like, wow, my skin was very, very bronzed and warm toned. So you do have to be a little mindful if you're using cool toned makeup mixing with this because it truly is like super bronzy and just gives you that really gorgeous warmth to the skin. The one thing I don't like about this is, I don't know why, but they have like a heavy fragrance in here that's sort of like luxury beauty. It's a little heavy. It doesn't really bother me, I think, because it really is a bronzer. It kind of dissipates, but I do want to mention that, but I just think this is such a beautiful formula. I'm excited to see what else they come out with because this was a home run for me. Okay, before we get into the next product, I keep ending up with butthole lips and I'm like, why? I think it's just because I've been wearing my makeup for quite a while, you know, I've had a busy day. I keep seeing this line on my lips and it's driving me crazy. So I know you see it, I see it too. I'm trying to remedy it, but also I'm losing my patience. So we're just gonna roll with it for now. So the next product I talked about in my Sephora haul, wow, this truly shocked me. These Givenchy Prism Libre blushes, oh my goodness, these are so gorgeous. So I have the shade three, which is the coral, and also the pink. Wow, you guys, I'm wearing the coral right now. This is the one that I just put all over the center of my face and it just looks like I've been out in the sun. You know, I've been loving life when in reality, I'm inside with the AC cranked. These have such a gorgeous radiance to them and they're very, very buildable. So they're not over the top where you're like, oh my gosh, you have to be careful, but you can definitely build them up to something really, really beautiful and flushed like I did today. This tone is so pretty. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just gorgeous. I cannot say enough good things about these. I said this in my Sephora haul video, but I will definitely be buying a couple more shades during the sale. They give me a similar vibe to the Dior Backstage, but with more glow and obviously it's in a loose powder form, so you don't have to you know, build them up quite as much as the Dior. But the pink one is definitely more sheer. It's like that really light, cool toned pink shade. So I usually use the pink as more of a topper if something's a little too warm and I wanna just kinda cool it down or just add a little bit of that baby doll flush. So if you were looking at these and you didn't know if they were pigmented or if they you know, were chunky or gonna make your texture look bad, I'm here to tell you that they are absolutely gorgeous. These knocked my socks off, truly shocked me, and I'm so glad that I picked these up. To finish off, I have a couple lip products that I had to mention that I just love the formula or the color or both. So the first one is this Milani Stay Put liquid lip. This color is so gorgeous. If you like lip colors like me, it's in the color Glow Up. It is such a beautiful, really bright, 
baby pinky peach so this is stunning i would just put this in the center of my lip and sort of blend out with a nude liner and it just has this beautiful warmth to it it's bright without being too bright so it's just enough like with a tan and bronze look to give you that really pretty pout but it's not you know like a hot pink or something like that I fell in love with this shade the first time I tried it. The formula is very thin. It has like that moussey feel, but it's quite thin. And I noticed that less is more. Really with any liquid lipstick, I tend to apply it and then just kind of dab it out with my finger and blend it into my lip liner. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, lipstick from the drugstore recently, just because the shade is perfection for me. I also have to mention this liquid lipstick from Makeup Revolution. Again, I was at Target and just sort of walking around the makeup aisle and this product intrigued me. So this is the Makeup Revolution IRL Whipped Lip Cream. So I picked up the color Chai Nude. The one thing that I will say is it's really hard to see what color you're getting because the outer packaging doesn't necessarily match the color of the liquid lipstick. So so the reason this intrigued me is because it said whipped. I love a whipped moussey liquid lipstick that's more of a satin feel, not necessarily a dry down because I just think that they wear off better and they're just more comfortable. So this is extremely light, but they do have other shades and I did buy I think one more shade. So if you can see, like when you swatch this, it doesn't look the best and you're probably like, what? That looks horrible. But once you apply this to the lips, like again, I would just apply it and then really smooth it out with a lip brush or my fingertip. This is so comfortable and it really is that beautiful like soft matte look without that dry cracked feel. The one thing that's weird about this is it does have a slight cinnamon scent. It doesn't hurt my lips and I don't notice any plumping, but it has a really slight cinnamon fragrance, which isn't my favorite, but because it's so light, it doesn't linger or bother me at all. So if you want something that is more comfortable for every day, but it's gonna last a little bit longer than a bullet lipstick, I think these are really beautiful. I think they have like seven or eight shades and I have two of them so far, but I would definitely look up swatches online before you purchase because it's hard to tell what the actual colors look like in the components. And to finish this video, I have one more favorite. I just love the packaging, the shades, the formula, everything about these. So these are the new shade extensions of the ABH lip glosses. These colors are my fantasy, okay? Like I love light colors like this, so beautiful. So I picked up the color Cantaloupe and then also Cotton Candy. These are so gorgeous, super high shine. They have a nice amount of pigment to them. Again, this is a more thick formula, so think like a MAC lip gloss sort of vibe. I prefer that because they're not slipping all over, bleeding outside of my lip line. They just last, so I tend to put a little bit on again and then just sort of dab it on my lips so that it's not like a thick, goopy layer, but it really just gives me a nice shine. And oftentimes I use these kind of colors to really lighten the center of my lips. And then I also got the shade Cotton Candy, which is a really beautiful, it's like a light baby pink, but it really does lean more lilac. Absolutely stunning. I love the shade expansion. I need to go into store because I think there's a couple more that I want to pick up, but I just love the packaging on these and the shade expansion is just so beautiful. It really does give me like MAC lip gloss but years ago, that sort of vibe. So if you like glosses like I do, like the MAC lip glosses or the Lawless glosses or the Give Beauty glosses, you would love these ABH ones as well. All right guys, so I think that is everything for my current favorites. I didn't really have any fails because some of the products that I think may be fails, I just tried them. So I really wanna try them a few more times before I actually give them like, you know, that's gonna be a no for me. So I will continue to test those out and update soon. I also was thinking about possibly doing maybe a home favorites or lifestyle favorites. Since I did recently move, I've gotten some really beautiful furniture and just things that I'm really loving. So let me know if you'd like to see that video. Of course, I will link everything that I talked about today down below in my 
description box. Definitely check out the Zuvi Halo hair dryer, you guys. I'm telling you, you will love it. I am loving it so much. So I will have that linked with my discount code to get 12% off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. And if you did enjoy this, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.